Welcome to KA Sports Talk. And today, I want to uh, do the unboxing of the Rez Abando jersey. But before we get started, if you can please hit that like. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe and comment. What do you think about the Rez Abando jerseys? All right, so I'm going to unbox both the home and the way authentic jersey from the KBL store. So uh, it was ordered about two weeks ago, so it finally arrived today. And today it is Wednesday, uh, December, what is it? Yep, it's the 21st right now. So that's where we're at right now. So I'm gonna go and unbox. Now I did open the package, but I have not taken the stuff out of the package yet. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the road jersey. So there's the package right there. And um, yep, so it is from what the Corellian Company. So I'm gonna take this out. So I'll show this one, both jerseys. So let's take these out right now. So what I got is a size 110, so it's kind of, since I am a semi-big guy, uh, I felt like I need to get a much bigger size. So here's all the wrapping. So here's all the tags. So I still got the tags, so I gotta cut them off. Okay, so it is very, oh, it is dry fit. So dry fit, it is, wow, it is pretty big. So there you go, res the team, you know, the onion, yep, Kongsa. <laughs> so, so there's the front of the jersey, so number 12. And as you can see, the Korean company, and you got the KGC, okay. And then if I turn it around, look, so it is dry fit material. Yeah, KGC, yep, Anyang, yeah, Tung Kongsa. So, and as you can see, it's in Korean writing. Ah, ban, do. It is exactly pronounced. Ah, ban, do. Number 12. And you can see the Korean sign at the ding. Yep. Chungnook, so, so there you go. So that, this is the road. So this is the authentic uh, jersey. It's the one I got. So that's the one. And then, of course, uh, the taxes. It is size 110, so it is a pretty large one, but I will uh, put it on. I'll, I'll try both of them on and see how it looks, but they're very comfortable, dry fit. Holy moly, I guess I did lose some weight. So take a look here. So there you go. Whew, this is pretty big on me. I might have to go size down. Yeah, I should probably go down to 105, so as you can see. Let me back up a little bit and you guys can kind of see. Yep. Holy moly. Yeah, I think I think I need to start getting 105, but you know, and and you know, if I was to like uh, you know, give this to a friend uh, in the fall up either, so it might be too big for you. Because I'm about 5'9. I'm close to 190 pounds. Sorry, I just I always never know the world because I, I come from the United States. So that's what it is. So it's just totally dry fit. Yeah, it's a great, yeah. It's good for weather. So if you're out playing basketball, this is very good dry fit weather. Now maybe I have a thought. I don't know if I'm gonna go through with it. So if I can get to a Onion, a KGC Onion game, and then I could run into Rez, see if he would sign this jersey. Cause, and see if I can collect every uh, player from the Philippines. See, this is a thought. I don't know if it's going to happen. See if I can maybe have Rez sign this and then donate it to uh, the sports museum in Manila. You know, it'd be a historical thing. So it's a thought of mine, but I don't know if I can make that happen. It's going to be really hard. Plus, I don't know if there's, you know, regulations of what I'm allowed to do and not do or what the sports museum could do because I haven't contacted them yet. So, but I don't want to contact anyone until I do the work first, you know. But I would still try to get every player's signature if I could. And of course, I would probably get all the white jerseys and see if all the players can sign it. And then I can donate it to the sports museum. But it's just a thought. It's not a for sure thing. So don't take me for gospel on that. 
So that's one of the things. But this is the road jersey. And the reason I would say have them sign the white jersey, you can see, you know, if I use a clear a name pen or a Sharpie, it'll be very clear that his name will be on here. And make sure it's a permanent marker that sticks his name here. And then I got to take, I got to now, you know, never wear the jersey again. <laughs> and just store it in and keep it in good condition. So... So that's the uh, Res Abando. So that is the away jersey. So it's the authentic jersey. So I'll put this away for now here. We'll throw this back here. Now I'm going to go get the uh, home jersey. So the, they wear white on the road. And at home, of course, this past weekend, they had a, he had a black jersey. But I don't think that's for sale right now. You just never know. But let's see. Here's a home one. Home one I'm probably gonna wear the most. Oh yeah. Ooh, this is nice. Actually, I like, I probably wear the home jersey more. You know? Let's see. Oh, wow. Let's let's first look at the front part of this. So take a look. You see the KGC? Yep, you see the company uh Corellian who does who does the uh, designs of this shirt so it's custom and it did like I said earlier it took two weeks and there is the tag so you know this is an authentic uh, jersey not uh, a replica so and and uh, and onion is the only one that sells the authentic the other ones are just selling replica so I have to kind of see which ones I can get the replicas are cheaper but this one and I'll tell you what the price is at the end of this video so again there's the front one number 12 so yeah who I like the I like the home jersey home jersey is like much nicer it's kind of like red burgundy type so there's again in Korean ah bando so it's all in Korean writing so res abando so it's just abando so so everything will be in Korean writing just like for you know Habano, Benege, Avientos, you know, Gutang. So I'm going to try, and my mission is try to get all the jerseys if I can without breaking the budget for me. So I just got to keep working and save some money and then get some jerseys and keep, you know, pushing out the content here. So there you go. Now I'm going to try this on, see how this looks on me. I think I like the red much, the burgundy red. So it's not completely red it's burgundy it's red on the on the side is red but on the front is more burgundy that's almost like my alma mater high school colors back in california so shout out to sherman oak ces is mine's yes yeah, like burgundy colors right here so yep yeah, the res abando and this kid man is He's an awesome player, man. Got a lot of potential. Now, I don't know about NBA potential, but potential to do well in Asia. So just because you don't make the NBA, it doesn't mean you can still not make an impact on the other side of the world. So there's guys that, you know, will play overseas and still can make a career. And, you know, I still admire. And sometimes I still admire these guys who play, especially, uh, yeah, Rez is really a impressed me by the way he is the highest paid player in the Korean basketball league so and, and in the Philippines he's now a millionaire status so if he can keep his career and build experience and then get on and he's good enough he is on the pool for the team Gilas team which is the Filipino national team so wow oh man I like how this looks what do you guys think man still too big I should have got a I'm gonna get a 105 so I'm not gonna yeah I realize I'm not I'm not two third I don't weigh 230 like when I played football back in the days you know almost 20 plus years ago so yeah so I really love this jersey and holy moly I like the feel it is dry fit dry fit there so you just got all your advertisements and yeah, custom made. So they do custom made. So it's not like America where it's all ready to go or you go. And so Korea is a little different sometimes. Sometimes the jerseys are not available in their sporting events. You know, when I go, I'm like, uh, is there 
For baseball, sometimes there is, but for basketball, sometimes I'll just custom make uh, the shirt or you can order it. I know for like uh, the DB Promi, which is the Wangju team, you have Filipino M, uh, Ethan Avenue there. You have to like ask, request a custom made and they'll custom make it for you, but it'll take a week. So it's not going to happen overnight. I know Korea is pretty fast with shipping and everything. But man, I really love this jersey. Oh man. This is the one I'm gonna probably wear when I'm doing like KBL uh, live streams or when, if I can get out to Anyang. So I'm trying to see for a uh, Seolar, which is Chinese New Year. Uh, they're playing on a Sunday and I bet you a lot of the Barcada will be out there. So I wanna be kind of part of that uh, mix there. And you know, it's up to, you know, you gotta follow the, the Barcada. They know where to take you. So you gotta, you know, go out and make friends with them, you know, so yeah. I'm, Probably go make some friends with uh, some of the Barkata out there that are basketball enthusiasts. So, since I'm Korea, but you know, a lot of Filipinos live up in Seoul and in various places in Korea. So, you have a, a Filipino community here in South Korea. So, yeah, look at this. Oh, Res Abando, man. I can't wait. Yeah, so I'm going to have him see if he can sign the white jersey and I can save it and, you know, keep it in a nice little plastic bag and, you know, hopefully you know, be able to donate that, but that's a thought. So maybe if my thought can maybe happen, I gonna probably need some help with that. So just something to think about. I might just maybe ask some of the Barcada here who are in the Philippines that are basketball enthusiasts, see if we can maybe uh, get together and make it happen, you know? So I wouldn't mind doing something like that. Uh, for uh, you know the Philippines Museum, sports museum, but uh, uh, but of course I read on Google, I haven't had a chance to contact them, is that they're looking to get a bigger place because there's more sports things to display. So then you know I don't know if this you know the players are playing in the KBL for the first season will get in the pecking order there. You know you don't know. So you just but I just gotta probably eventually ask. But right now I gotta go step at a time on this. So just a thought, but don't take me serious on that. So I'm gonna just kind of see where, if I can get to step number one, and then I keep, then I move on to steps one through six. I gotta get to six steps, like try to get all six players. And then of course we have a new Filipino player coming in to the KBL, you know, Dave, uh, uh, it, uh, Idole Fonzo, Ida, I'm sorry for busting up. I can't even remember to pronounce it because my mind's going crazy. I'm just like a kid on Christmas right now getting this, uh, yeah, well, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, so, or Ide Fonzo, or, yeah, so he just won the championship, uh, Dave. So sorry, Dave, if I butchered your last name. I'll get it. I'm just lost my mind right now. I'm, I'm a kid on Christmas, <laughs> so I'm having so much fun, but yeah. So, ooh, I'm in love with this the, the home jersey more than the, the road jersey. It just feels like a home jersey, and it could blend with anything I'm wearing underneath, you know? So, yeah, that's where I'm at. All right, I'm sorry to keep making you go crazy. I'm going to take this off right now, put this aside. But I uh, just want to let you know the price is um, it's 80,000 South Korean won. It's 3,400 pesos and it's 62 US dollars. Of course, you gotta order over 100,000 won for free shipping. So if you order under 100,000, you gotta pay an additional 3,500 won on the delivery charge. So, and it doesn't come right away, so it takes a lot of time. So yeah, so this is the jersey, uh, the home jersey. So yep, so I did get this off the KBL store. So I really enjoy, uh, you know, getting these jerseys. So I'm going to try to get the others. Like I'm going to try to get RJ Abiantos, Ethan Abena, uh, Justin Kutong, SJ Benegay. Uh, who else? Yeah. Uh, I was hoping to get a Christian David one, but he got released. So I don't think his jersey will be available. But uh, with the new one going to the uh, Sonic Boom uh you know, Dave, uh, Eden, Ido, uh, Alfonso. Again, I, I, I've lost my mind. <laughs> so that's, uh, 
Hopefully his jersey becomes available as soon as he gets over here and starts playing with his teammate Lester Prosser, who played in the uh, Prosper, who played in the uh, PBA in the Terrafina team. So yeah, that's what we have right here for a jersey. So uh, as more jerseys I get, I'll keep doing an unboxing. So uh, please, one last time, if you can still hit the like, uh, subscribe. And comment, uh, what kind, what do you think about the Res Bondo jersey? Do you like the white jersey? Do you like the burgundy one? Or do you like the idea of, you know, should I try to imp try to go after all six signatures and try to get it donated to the museum? Let me know if that's an idea I should go with. If it would work or if it's going to be, you know, pulling teeth. So, i like to know. So... All right, so wherever you are, everyone, uh, thank you, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.